Hello. Salutations. This is Wise the Waldo. Or something like that. Man, <clears throat> I'm compelled to make a wisdom video, but I don't know what the fuck to tell y'all, man. Like, what y'all want to know about? I don't want to sound counterintuitive or counterproductive. I don't want to seem like a know-it-all, but I feel like I kind of know it all. They say a wise man knows nothing. But I feel like I had to learn everything before I could accept that I knew nothing. And so what can't be known, meaning like what can't be physically viewed, what can't be measured materialistically, Naturally, there's there's some inquiries left in my mind about spirituality and life and death and blah blah blah. But as far as like under the under the roof, I feel like I I pretty well understand everything. And so the the main thing I suffer with. It's tennis shoes. I just got my tennis shoe bill. Anyways, yeah, I got a fucking problems. Love tennis shoes, man. Love fucking tennis shoes, man. God damn, I love tennis. All right. Not God. Devil, damn it. What I fucking still am a, like, I, I hate to use the word victim. A while back for years, like, my, uh, my headline on Facebook was... A, a prophet of wisdom, a proprietor of love, and a victim of circumstance. And when I, like, started waking up, man, I, I, I fucking scoffed at the, the word victim. I'm not a victim. I'm a combatant. I'm a targeted individual. Okay? I'm an O-negative blood, uh, Gemini, Sun, Virgo, Moon. I'm like, the. I, it doesn't get more targetable than me, <laughs> you know? Like, I'm the prime fucking candidate for targeting and gang stalking and psychological control, right? Like, I've, I've had, like, propositions from the Brotherhood of the Illuminati. You don't have to believe me. Like, I'll post the fucking, I'll post the conversations. I don't give a fuck. I have no shame. Like... The Grand Master of the Illuminati wrote me and was like, yo, you don't even got to pay no fees, bro. Like, we know you blind, Waldo. He started hitting me with shit like, I know you want to fulfill your duties as a father that have been negated from you. And I was like, like, this motherfucker really knows some shit. You know, he sent me a tag of his location and it was in the middle of the fucking Atlantic Ocean. I'm like, man, okay. Like, I ain't saying I'm convinced, but after a year of him entertaining my fucking argumentative, inquisitive ass, consistently fucking hounding him and, and haggling him for information, and him still, like, I was like, this is not a scam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and especially when he's like, "We, you don't even have to pay no fees, bro. Like, if you'll just start recruiting immediately for us, like, we'll waive your fees and begin your, your fucking initiation and shit. And I'm like, man, yeah, okay, bro. Look, that's, that's a bit. And then this dude I buy weed and fucking dope and pills and shit from, bro. He, like, you would never suspect the dope man to be fucking in cahoots with the, uh, Illuminati, you know? <laughs> or any fucking thing besides dope, for that matter. And, uh, one day he says, uh, yo, wise. And I'm like, what's up, brother? He's like, just write down your mom and your dad's address, and we can get the ball rolling on your initiation. I said, B. He said, what? And then he started playing his whole dumb shit, like a wire was hanging out, like uh, this shit that we was where He said, hey, wire. I said, and I didn't think about it till later, and I was like, hey, wire. Motherfucker is hey, wire. He said some shit like, you a, you a Matt 
it's a difference in us. And I, I be trying to tell him, like, you've got all the potential I do. He's like, nah, you don't understand. You a Mac. And then just the other day, I heard a new locksmith song. He said, I know the difference between a puppet and a real Mac. And I was like, damn, bro. Was my homie I was getting my fucking drugs from really just a puppet? And then, like, when I be having shit, the worst is when the dude, the, the brotherhood master or whatever would hit me, like, waiting on you, bro. You ready to make that plunge yet? Sent me all these, you know, these uh forms to sign and fucking I adhere to the Jesuit fucking, like, laws of power and I will fucking shit on everybody. And I was like, man, I, like the day he told me, and I thought my mom's a bitch. He knows where she lives, too, right up there at the top. And I was like, you know where my mom lives. He's like, but we got to have you write it down, you know? You got to make the fucking, the sacrifice, bro. You got to willingly say, here, here's my parent. I said, man, sometimes the the, the price of admission is just too high, and, and some of us don't get to go to the carnival, you know? He said, understandable. That's his thing. He always said, I love it. Understandable. No matter what. You'd be like, I feel like I'm I'm more like a purple fucking flying people eater than a human. He'd be like, understandable. I like, know it's not, but it he's just an understandable motherfucker. Now I realize probably because he's just a puppet in hindsight. But uh like my girl at the time was fucking psychotic. Now I realize it was just a design, you know, that strengthened me because the the weapons that they form to control us with empower me. They control us with repetitiveness. Showing you the same shit over and over and over. Man, I play in 2K. I know when to fucking close my eyes when the subliminal flashes are coming between the free throws. Like, it doesn't work with me because when I see it over and over, I see like, oh, they try me. And it immediately empowers me. And so the, the more they form weapons against me, the more like... It, it wakes me up, but I also feel like they're using me to better understand how to control others. Because, like, if you can fucking, if you can, like, trick my mind for a minute, like, you could certainly, certainly fucking control most of the people in this world. And that's not, that's just being honest. I honestly believe, like, I'm more intellectually capable by birth not by the you know by divine fucking design not by like i read all these books and i'm smarter than you nah man fuck all the knowledge i ever gained on this plane nothing i've learned here has any valor nothing we learned in school besides basic math and and writing so we could spell cast for the fucking like hierarchy of witches and mages that Use gay Anaki sex magic to fucking control the masses with media. Shit like that sounds crazy, don't it? But it's real. It's a motherfucker, man. And like, my biggest question, I guess. See, I ain't even coming to y'all to teach today. I'm coming to ask. I got a question. See, I keep these rings like on my hands. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's how I used to have one on every fucking finger. And I'm down to just the thumbs. And whenever I'm, I realize I'm missing one, I realize I've lost time. I wasn't paying attention. I call it the 15-second battle, fam. Like, every 15 seconds, you got to reset. What happened? Am I focused? What was I working on? What am, I, am I distracted? Am I lost? And it's sad, but every 15 fucking seconds, or you going to get lost. You're going to get distracted. You're going to get bamboozled by the motherfucking thing that's whispering in your ear, bro. I didn't believe in the hive mind. I didn't believe in demonic beings or spiritual shit, bro. I was, for the most part, an atheist because the Bible pissed me off with all of its inconsistency and just heinous fucking, like, heinous fucking ideolo I, like ideology, we we'll call it that. For the most part, I felt like the Bible was teaching us how to be satanic fucking evil bastards and then, like, Sum it all up with, oh, well, Jesus, I know he died for me, so I'm good. <laughs> Let me in, daddy. You know, like, what? <laughs> like, why God want me to kill an animal and burn it? He made animals. Like, he got all the animals he wanted his dispense. If he want to have a barbecue, he don't need me fucking killing no cows, you know? So I feel like 
most of the Bible is actually teaching you about the devil and how to worship him better. I mean, we go to church, right? On Sunday, the day of the sun, Amun-Ra was the sun god, Egyptian, you know, religion. <laughs> but Saturday, naturally, was the Sabbath, the seventh day of rest. So we we inverted that. And the devil loves to invert everything, make everything backwards. He's, I'm, that's why I'm the backwards man. I'm the only motherfucker walking forward. <laughs> but I digress. So we go to church. And I've been to a holiness church, Baptist church, Pentecostal, Methodist, fucking non-denominational. I've been to, I've, I've, I've sat with the, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. I've sat with Muslims. I fucking, you know, I, I've, I've studied Hinduism, Taoism, uh, Stoic philosophy, fucking Buddhism. I, I've considered myself a Bodhisattva in many, many rites of the, the, the correct definition of Bodhisattva, but, Buddhism is probably the thing I most relate to, but even then, I don't limit myself to any one idea. Like I, I look at the whole puzzle and I put all the little pieces together. And if you do that, you eventually get a, a puzzle that resembles a picture that makes sense, man, and it resonates with your intuitive, innate self beyond your mind going, "No, Jesus," <laughs> because if not, something bad will happen. No, the fuck it won't. Nothing will happen because you are God. I am God. But I am also just one little fragmented fractal pattern of a puzzle piece that requires the entire assembly of all of the pieces scattered about the cosmos to, in to substantiate the infinite, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresence of the source energy of spiritual existence. That's a lot. Felt very smart to say it though, like that. It just came out like that. It should just happen. Like my tongue just did. I ain't even do that shit, bro. So I'm sorry if you were belittled by it. What I meant was God. <laughs> I'm one little piece of God that has to have all y'all motherfuckers to have any power. So you know, just take that motherfucking. You know, you you got that one. You know what I'm saying? I gotta have your bitch ass. <laughs> Can't do it by myself. I just need you to comply. Please comply. <laughs> It'll make shit a lot easier for all of us. But uh, my question. So I come like to be like, man, see this hat. I had this hat hanging up over here where my hat's hang, you know. And uh, I got a, a fucking buku, a buku of fucking feathers, man. Like every different feather you could imagine. And uh, naturally, I relate the most to the peacock. I mean... Naturally, you know, I relate the most to the peacock. So there were out of all these feathers, only two little bitty tiny fucking peacock feathers. And they were my goddamn pride and joy, fam. Like I, you know what I'm saying? Them of was, and now I leave my hat up at my mom's one day. And my little nephew done tore it all the fuck, tore all the shit off of it, the, you know, Wiped his ass with the peacock. He don't even know how to wipe his own ass yet. He wiping his ass with the peacock. And I, I like, ah, no. <laughs> and I, I got it and I put it all back together and fucking like, bruh, and it was, it wasn't the same anymore. The wrinkles weren't there. I was like, man, he fucked me up, dog. I couldn't be mad because he's so fucking cute, man. But it, like, I was just thankful to recover both of my peacock feathers, right? So I get it back as close and resemblance as I could to its original glory. Hang it up, and I'm like, I ain't wearing that motherfucker for a while. I ain't fucking with my lucky peacock. They're gone. Vamos. Vam disappeared. Gone. Who in the fuck is going to come in here, pass up all the electronics, all the dope, weed, fucking, all the good shit, all the t fucking sneakers. <laughs> uh, every goddamn Jordan that ever came out. I got some, uh, just, some, some Jordan Jordans. You know, <laughs> like. You don't even want to fuck with the shoe. They gonna pass all that up and steal Waldo's little peacock feathers. Got 18 eagle feathers just hanging on random. Nope, we don't want the rare illegal fucking, you know, spiritually blessed eagle feathers. We want your fucking peacock feathers, bitch. And they got them. And I don't know how the fuck they got, who got in here, how they got, 
But sometimes I just realize, like, where the fuck did all my rings go? And I'd be feeling like they just pause me sometimes, like, just come in here and be like fucking drawing a dick on my face and shit. And just, that's not a dick, by the way. But I don't know how I got there. I'm just playing. But man, it's war. See this? It's fucking war, man. We are at war. And like, it's not no physical war. So you don't got to be no tough ass gangster. You don't got to do push ups every day and shit. Like, you could be a fucking chill ass dude like me and be fucking them up, bro, on the front lines. Cause it's a spiritual war. You got to have spiritual, mental, and physical resonance and strength in this fucking, this world that I don't resonate with, bro. I don't feel fucking at home here. I feel alien. The birds sound mechanical to me, bro. The fucking, the ice just wilter in the sun. Poor sweat. Fucking miserable hot. Like, nothing about this world says, yeah, bro, we're, this is our world. And like, everything about this is like, man, this is fucking hell. And I feel like I'm here to make it heaven, man. Because it, you gotta have some motherfuckers come down to hell and sing some hymns and shit. Oh. That reminds me, back to my point about church. And then I'll ask my question, and I'll get the fuck off here, maybe. Because uh, I gotta go see a fucking whore about some twat. See, sometimes it don't do it as well. Sometimes it don't articulate and linguistically illustrate my immaculate vocabulary as well. Sometimes it just spat out some bullshit like that. But anyways, it was honest. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fuck her though. I'm not, I'm not. Get out of here, devil. Get out of here. I, I don't, I don't believe in just releasing my sexual energy. That's my juice thing. It's my motherfucker. Anoint my forehead with that shit. Not like that, but like, all right, we're getting off top of that. That sounds fucked up. Uh, we go to church on Sunday, the day of the sun. We got a pagan fucking idol. Cause we don't do idol worship, but we all got the fucking cross in there on our chest and we're going to celebrate the motherfucking public execution and suffering and torture over and over and over and over and over of our king and our messiah. You're welcome. But, um, it sucked though. It was embarrassing. It was very embarrassing. All because I'm trying to tell some motherfuckers the truth, man. They don't want to hear it. They think their God's the right one. I said, who told you? Your daddy, well, I'm here telling you from the mouth of the horse. Nay, motherfuckers ain't want to hear it. Crucify my bitch ass. So, here I am, just crucify like a monk. You think I want to be reminded of this shit all the time? Hell no. Nah. Hell, man, once you got like a rock charm, it represents like me coming out that fucking spirit form, just bitch slapping everybody that can't even feel it. Nope. They want to, no, we want to remember you bleeding like a little bitch crying up there on the cross. Daddy, why are you forsaking me? Y'all motherfuckers. A, a constant reminder. Then, if that ain't a bitch enough, we going to drink the blood in an act of vampirism. We going to eat his fucking flesh in an act of cannibalism, which has widely been popularized in satanic occult practices. Especially if you torture the individual to feel the blood with the adrenochrome and the serotonin and the dopamine and the adrenaline that all pours out in the act of fucking just desperation from pain overwhelming your nervous system and uh, breaking your alchemical bond with your higher self and just pouring your blood full of all this good shit that they just... Ah, ah. You know, it's just like that. I seen it. Not personally. I ain't fucking with no shit like that. You crazy? But I know it's there, bro. Shout out my homie Chaos, Callum Talbot. Man, I I fucking pity this dude, but I look up to him. He's like 19, 20. I'm 31. I look up to this kid, man. He's the bastard son of Marshall Matters. He's one of the greatest lyricists in the world. But he he... He does the dirty work, man. He looks at all the ugly that my eyes can't stand to see. I want to see pretty girls and rainbows and flowers and happy pictures and fucking colorful scenes, you know? Like, oh, it's so beautiful. Like, this motherfucker is willing to look into the darkest depths of fucking Apollyon's pit and see the fucking wickedness and then stand up and go, yo, 
and tell about it. And I'm like, man, why don't you try to look at some pretty shit? He can't. He can't see no pretty shit no more. He doesn't seem too much ugly and evil. And I respect and appreciate that my brother of light and of love took that upon his shoulders so that he might enlighten us about what's really happening in the shadows, man. Salute, Callum. I love you, little bro. Keep being you, man. If they if they loved you in this world, we would be fucking up, man. But uh, then we we on top of that, you know, any uh gathering that is simultaneously redundant, anything that's done over and over is a ritual, and it's an occult practice. So just gathering in a church or a synagogue is satanic and occult, occult, occultist, occultism, occultistic, occultistic. <laughs> I like that. I dubbed that occultistic. But um, anyway, so we're going to sing songs then. All right, let's sing some songs. I saw the light. I've been baptized by the fire and his touch and the flames in his eyes. <laughs> Ooh, fucking Benzo about lost me. But anyway, so think of I saw the light. Lucifer is the enlightenment, the enlightened one, the being of light, the morning star. So he comes back. He's the light bearer who rode lightning down. There's, there's a lot of light involved with Lucifer, who means something light. I don't know. It's just light. So I saw the light. I've been baptized, which is washed, washed, brainwashed. I mean, you've been fucking just indoctrinated. By the fire in his touch and the flames in his eye. What's synonymous with fiery, fiery, fiery flames? Not God. <laughs> not God. Not Jah. Not Yahshua. Not Yahweh. Not fucking. Not none of that. Not none of that. The Baphomet. Fucking. Belial. Abaddon. Apollyon. Lucifer, Satan, fucking, he trying to hide all of his names from me. I know them all. I know them all. Samael was his real bitch ass name before he won't turn into a dickhead. Walking around, like, Look at me. I'm beautiful. Like, we get it, Samael. You're fucking beautiful. Here I am. Just like, I'm just the son of God. You know, don't mind me. <laughs> I ain't shit. I just get crucified when motherfuckers need a scapegoat. But. I honestly think me and the devil might be the same person sometimes because like God going to send Lucifer down here for teaching man as a punishment and then reward man by sending me down here to teach them. And then they call me the son of God, you know, this, the light of the morning. They call Lucifer the morning star. Hold on a muffin. I wonder if in the desert, when I was being tested by the devil, if there was really anybody else there, if it was just me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll give you the whole world. Nah, fuck your world. Like, come on, man. It's beautiful. Nah, I don't want this. You know, it's possible. I'm a Gemini, so I do that right now anyway. You're talking to two different people, and then I'm just supervising two seconds behind. And sometimes I need to intervene and go, eh, don't listen to that. Back that up. I retract that. But, uh. So my question is, what the fuck is happening? How these motherfuckers got power? Why y'all scared? Stand the fuck up and love, man. Stop saying it's a cold world, bro. You gotta be cold, man. You gotta be a G. Fuck that. Walk out with your arms open. Trust, love unconditionally in the face of evil, in the face of bitterness, in the face of fucking betrayal. Be honest in the face of liars. Turn the other cheek. Turn it back. They smack you twice. Fucking... Let God handle it, if you know what I'm saying. Like, my favorite story from the Bible is, uh, you know, Samson, he dude wasn't supposed to cut his hair. It's just a scene, bro. Like, they lock his ass in the castle. You know, they pull the little drawbridge. Like, raise the drawbridge, you know? Like, and they raise it. He's like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. He done killed 30 fucking soldiers by his lonesome so low dolo, he let the slaves go after he killed the 30 soldiers. They ran like a ah, get the fuck away from me. Like, he's scared to death of this motherfucker. He's like, what? Just a, like a big kid, you know? But, he, so he grabbed the drawbridge, like, you know, y'all know the old 
fucking King Castle movies. You know what I'm saying? They got the big, big ass bridge. He grabbed the bridge and ripped that motherfucking whole door off. And we're finna throw it down. And God said, no, Samson, carry it with you and show them my might. Like, you want me to take their whole fucking dungeon door? He's like, yes. And he just drugged that whole bitch with him. The whole castle knights and shit standing around like, what do we do, man? You know, the king's like, I don't know, finger up his ass and shit. What day is this? Why, it's Christmas, Ebenezer. Motherfucker just took the dungeon door, bro, off the motherfucking whole castle and shit. Now we gotta swim to get out and shit. That ain't no joke. I fuck with that. Thank you, God, for making Samson tote that big ass fucking and just, I'm the motherfucking man. Y'all wanna fuck with me? Only that I trust is G. Uppercase. Listen, I'm clowning a little bit, but this is for real, man. How the fuck do they still got power over us? We are light beings. We are higher in vibration. It's because we are being stifled. We're being silenced. We're being smoldered and smothered and fucking covered and hidden. Make a fucking path, brothers, sisters, lovers. Make a path, man. Love is more important than anything right now. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. If I offend anybody, I'm sorry, man. I truly believe I'm the son of God. I truly believe I'm a prophet. I truly believe I'm here to raise the vibration, to bring heaven on earth. I just can't even explain how or why. I just know. I know in my heart. And, like, I'm going to spread my love. I'm going to spread my light. And the more y'all that do that fearlessly too, it's not easy. I have pride. I have an ego. I worry about what y'all think. I want to be liked. I want to be loved. I want to be fucking rewarded. I want people to go, why is Waldo the greatest ever? He's so smart and handsome and his penis is like slightly over average, you know, like, and he's still motherfucking, you know, that's the devil talking. That ain't me, but it's a fucking true fact though. You know, I won't lie. <laughs> I won't lie. I'm trying. I want to get laid again because of word of mouth, not because it's just solely off the rip. Like up here, I want to be like, yo, you heard about Waldo? Like his dick's like normal, but his spirit dick, like you heard of a spirit stage, yo, your, my spirit dick is long. Like I put put my dick in a girl, it's like, oh yeah, that's not. And then my spirit dick come in. She's like, ah, what the fuck are you doing to me? <laughs> but. Now I'm way the fuck away from positive <laughs> love and light vibrational fucking coding. So uh, I'm going to shut the fuck up and get off of here. But man, it scares me sometimes, man. I don't want to say scared because I'm, I mean, I'm scared. But I embrace fear because I love the opportunity to be brave. Like I don't be wanting to walk up the driveway sometime in this fucking place. This is a demonic ass hive I'm here. Like right in the center of all this bullshit, bro. This, I'm in like a controlling fucking brainwashing facility. But I feel like God got me in the lion's den because this is where he need me. So I'm going to humbly serve my bitch ass right here like he fucking <laughs> so diligently orders. But uh, I'm ready for a change, fam. I'm ready for some sunlight that ain't overly fucking hot. Like, I'm talking about, like, just a nice, cool breeze. By, you know what I'm saying? I don't even give a fuck if it's water. Just put me over. Just just put me a dock, like, over fucking just a fucking yard. I don't even give a fuck, bro. A canyon. I don't, I don't like heights either. It's just a flat-ass plain. Like, I, I have beach balls and shit floating around. And just, like, tumbleweed. You know, put me in the fucking desert. I don't give a fuck if it's cool. If it's fucking, like, about 52 degrees a year round. Beautiful. I want to see the stars without all the smog and pollution. Like, I want to look up and see the fucking cosmic bodies and shit, bro. Like, whoa. And I'm blind, so that's asking a lot. But, like, you feel what I'm saying? Look up at the sky. You might see one or two little twinkling ass fucking drones and, and a half of a supposed moon that was just over there a minute ago now. So, where'd the moon go? Where's the moon today, people? I don't know. Where I went. If you don't look at the moon, is it there? I asked fucking... Google that, and this is, not on my life, this is what it said, it popped up and it said, I've shown Einstein your manuscript, he says you are a very brilliant thinker, but completely unwilling to listen, the fuck is that, 
Like, they play into too much sometimes. But I ain't going to lose. The devil can't beat me because I love his motherfucking ass, man. That's all I'm going to do is love him, forgive him, and try to help him understand the error of our ways. Not his, because they're my ways. Everything you see outside of yourself you hate is an externalization of a mirror reflection of something yo ass need to fucking fix in you and do it quickly. Because at the end of the day, the good guy's going to Spoiler alert. The good guy wins. Peace and love. Or else. Why?